Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for yet another beer review. Yes, it's the same bank holiday weekend, it's the same Sunday, uh, and I'm just banging another one up. What I'm gonna quickly say, uh, I feel like my reviews recently, uh, a lot of them have been shit. I don't think I've quite been in the zone with them. I've been waffling way too fucking much, uh, and it's starting to annoy me as well. And you know, you lot might think out there that, oh, nobody gives a buck of what they put out. I, I try not to be boring, but I know, even I know sometimes when I'm doing way too much talking about nothing. So I'm gonna try and shorten the videos. I'm gonna try and improve the quality of them. Uh, I don't think they've quite been up to scratch. So let's move on from that. I hope you're all having a good weekend. Uh, <coughs> And we are back with another one, and it's from Hogsback Brewery. It's from a box my wife got me for my birthday uh, many months ago, or about two. Uh, and what we are looking at is their Gardener's Tipple. Now, hopefully you can see that. I'm, I'll never get this light sorted, will I? Uh, it's Gardener's Tipple, and this is a thirst-quenching English bitter coming in at 4% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Don't know how much the box was, it doesn't really matter. She got it from Amazon, probably fucking about five pound a bottle knowing, <laughs> knowing Amazon. Uh, but I love the artwork. That is a really nice bit of artwork. There's some spiel on the back. I think it's got goldings in, as you'd expect. It's sort of like a bitter. Uh, lovely artwork. And there's the crown, which is fantastic. I do love that. Hogsback Brewery out of Surrey. Uh, and that's why she bought it for me, because that is the area that I'm originally from. This is a bitter. We're going old school with a dimple glass. Yes, it was in the fridge for a while. It's been out for about an hour. Hopefully it's warmed up enough. Let's get a cracked and see what we get. I'm trying to make these quick. Stop talking so much shit, Bazza. Just keep it simple. Feel free to tell me if I waffle on too much. I know I do. I, I feel like I do. Uh, sometimes it's nice to get some feedback from people who watch. If you like me talking too much, that's fine. But just, just put in the comments. Put in the comments. Half of you probably hate me, but it don't matter. Anyway, beer in a glass. There we go. Uh, for me, it's sort of like a... It's funny. It looks clear on the camera. I'm looking at it through this glass, and it's, it's got a slight haziness to it. It's sort of caramel in colour. Copper, if you like. Uh, there's just a, a dusting, half a finger of white head on top, but it's not disappearing in the middle. I'm gonna hold it up against there, and there are the odd few bubbles going up the glass, but it looks like a traditional old school bitter, and I'm quite happy with that. It looks decent enough. Let's have a bit of a sniffers and see what we get. I'm not really good at swirling it there. Very malty, very, very, very malty, and very grainy. I mean, this is, this is proper traditional sort of stuff. A lot of their beers, you do get that malty graininess there. Oh. There's a toffee note as well. Not really picking any hops up or any, any sort of like hedgerow fruity notes that you might get from a bitter. It's all grain, it's all malt, a little bit of sweet, slightly sweet, and caramel, toffee notes, I'm gonna say. Uh, maybe one of them sweeter ones, Stonehouse Brewery, they do their bitter, and that's more of a sweetener one, so, or sweeter one. Right, Hogsback Brewery, out of Surrey, Gardner's Tipple, bitter. Let's dive in, 4%, cheers. quite pleasant. I like beers with that hoppy bit in it. This is definitely one of them sweeter ones, probably along the lines of a Stonehouse, the Stonehouse Bitter, uh, Station Bitter, but very much more of a grainier feel. But we'll get on with the body and everything. 4%, it's not a big beer, you're not expecting it to be massively heavy. And again, yeah, the malt in this beer may well fill it out, but you're not expecting too much. Drink 
drinks light. You can tell it's very much malt forward, I would say, this. Uh, that does fill it out a little bit more, but it's still like a, a light beer at 4%. Gentle carbonation, reasonably smooth in the mouth. Uh, on the taste, I'm, I'm, it's not not that there's nothing going on, but like I say, I think they've gone down the malty, grainy route with this beer, uh, and you don't really pick any flavours up from hops for me. So what you tend to get on the taste is malt, grain, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of toffee. You don't get any big hot presence in this. You don't get any sort of like hedgerow flavour from the hops. Is very much a malt forward, bitter, slightly sweet. Uh, and if I wanted to be critical, I would say it's a little bit dull and boring. But I guess that is how some bitters are made. For me, it's not the sort of bitter that suits my palate. But I know there's a lot of people out there. The fact that I've said to you, Stonehouse Brewery, their, their, their biggest seller since they started is station bitter they brewed more of that than anything else and that is a sweet malty sort of bitter so there's obviously a call for it people like it i think this is that same sort of thing but obviously hogsback brewery from surrey wouldn't surprise me in the least if this was one of their very best sellers uh and, and probably on tap everywhere down there for me it's a little bit bland You get you get that sort of hoppy edge to it, but it is very subtle and it doesn't really offer a lot in there. There is a subtle bitterness, I guess, you get from the hops. But other than that, nothing else apart from the sweetness. 4%, do you get that? You could maybe say you get that feel of a 4% beer but literally just from that little tickle of hops that you do pick up, not massively, it is just a little tickle of hop, I think. Uh, and it gives you that little tickle of bitterness. And I think that is the only place you would pick up the 4% in this beer. Uh, but what's it like? Well, I've told you my opinions already. You've heard most of them. Yeah, it's all right. It's not to my personal taste. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think I like a more hoppy beer rather than the sweeter side. So what, all I'm going to say now is, I'm still fucking eight and a half minutes in, fucking hell. Uh, Gardner's Tipple from Hogsback Brewery. It is an English bitter. It's on the sweeter side. If you like a bitter that is on that sweeter side, less hoppy with no sort of hedgerow sort of feel to it, you're going to enjoy that. For me, I can drink it. There's nothing offensive in there. It's just not got the flavours that I like to have in a bitter, but yeah, it's all right. Nothing nasty, a little bit bland, I think, a little bit boring, <laughs> pardon me, but okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Don't forget, feel free to comment in, uh, leave comments. If I'm going on too much, tell me, tell me, please. Uh, that's it, I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.